Welcome back, everybody, to my ninth segment of Darla's Court, where we talk all things basketball. And as always, we're just going to hop right to it. Steph Curry certainly makes his case to be in the conversation, but I do not think he is actually up there. I mean, he's got three rings. He's not even where LeBron is. He's not even where Kobe is. I mean, let alone greatest all time, Michael Jordan. Um, great three point shooter, best of all time, changed the game, but he's just not the GOAT. So, conversation, cool, but actually up there, not at all. I definitely think that the Timberwolves are going to make the playoffs. And my main reason, Cat is playing the best basketball of his career. Ant is consistently being Ant. He's playing great. D'Lo, when he is on, we're almost unstoppable. Now, if we can get D'Lo to be consistent, we're golden. We're in there. Now, we may have to go through the plans to get there, but we're going to be there. You watch out for my wolves. So, my answer for who's going to be the MVP has changed since I was last asked this. I did think it was going to be Steph Curry or Giannis, but I have to go with the people's choice of Jokic. He has really impressed me this season. He is carrying that Denver team through these wins, and he's going to take them to the playoffs alone, again. And I just think he's the most valuable asset to a team. Not a lot of people could take that team where he is. And for those reasons, Jokic's my MVP. That is a really tough question because so many things have changed. Um, obviously, I said the Milwaukee Bucks. I still feel strongly about the Bucks, but James Harden is now on the Sixers. That's a big deal. Phoenix, you can't count them out, but I'm not excited about them. I'm going to go with the Bucks. Uh, just going to stick to it. Giannis is playing great basketball. They always get it together at the end of the year. If not the Bucks, I'm going to go with the Sixers. No, the two indecisive. I'm really impressed by John Morant. I actually got to see him play at Target Center a couple weeks ago, and he is phenomenal to watch. Like, the growth that he has had as a player is insane. I'm super excited to watch him play in the future. I know he could potentially be the face of the NBA, and I've been even hearing people compare him to AI like he's the next coming, which I don't like the comparison, but I can see why they're hyping him up. He's great. I'm really excited to see where he takes the Grizzlies. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Darla's Court. As always, don't forget to drop your comments below. If you maybe disagree with me, if you want to add anything, or if you wanted me to answer anything in our next discussion, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, see you next time. That's a whole episode right there.